So, welcome back to another video. I am Radimus2099 with another video reviewing uh, Spider Octopus Superior Spider Man, which is the comic line, which was one of the first ones where that I uh, started reading uh, when I got into comics. I kind of read those twisty stuff Superman Red Sun, this one where Dr. Octopus controls the body of Peter Parker, becomes a more, much more violent Spider Man. And honestly, I do like that. And I love his look. I mean, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Okay, you're looking at him. He is great. I do have some problems, though. So we're going to get the problems out of the way first. So taking the figure off from his terrible backpack. I'm sorry. These arms are just too spindly. Now, the bigger, bulkier ones don't work either. They just need to learn what they got to do. Put bendy wires in them. I don't want to have this permanent shape. Because I can't do much with that on the shelf. And then also, they're just way too thin. I don't feel that he could use these to scale walls. He would use them to pick up his dry cleaning. <laughs> Another annoying thing is the lack of accessories. Now, you could consider these tendrils as accessories, but it is kind of unfair if you think about it. Um, getting that. Where, honestly, they could have just put this figure alone without a Build-A-Figure. And... I don't know, not made White Rabbit. Uh, they didn't make not White Rabbit, and they made just like a... Even if they took, like... If they just made a J. Jonah Jameson figure, honestly, I think I would have liked this wave more. Um, but he is nice. His body is fantastic. I love it. Uh, I love the style of his body and his look. But honestly, the lot arms just ruin it for me. Because... As real smart, they can make the arms look super dynamic and interesting in photos. That way I think that it's amazing. Also, giving him just two hands really pisses me off. Because I don't want to just have a clutching hand. I want to have a thwipping hand. I want to have another hand. Honestly, if anyone should come with more hands, it's Spider-Man. And if they had to pack this figure separately, I would have been actually even more fine with that, I think. That would have been way cooler. But, you know... Things do happen. Stuff happens where they can't obviously do that. I do think that he is fantastic, though. His arms and tendrils really do give that creepy effect to him. And he seems even more sinister if you know his story, if you know his backstory. Honestly, he is a great contender into the Spider-Man category, and he's way better than the original one that they made. I do hope that they maybe update that one. Because uh, he is cool. So, what do I think about him? He's, he's good. He's not great. He's not great. I know this might be a shorter style review, but honestly, I don't know if I can get... If I've said anything that's new. Because this is a very one-sided figure. You love him or you hate him or you just find him attractive. Um, I know there are some people who were more excited about this guy than anyone else in the wave. I was personally more excited for Shang-Chi. But that's only because I do like Shang-Chi... As a character more. I like his arc as a character. But honestly I'm. Not too excited about it. I do want to see him in a Marvel What If episode. Hopefully we get Dr. Octopus in the MCU sometime soon. So that they can actually do a What If episode. Of this. Or they could just make a whole cartoon about it. A six episode miniseries. That'd be awesome. Um, that would actually be awesome. That'd be a good way to kind of get rid of Spider-Man in the MCU, if you think about it. Dr. Octopus takes over his body. They wouldn't have to have him take off his mask. They wouldn't really need anyone to play Spider-Man, because he would be just an amalgam. And then you could have him have a different voice, or even give Dr. Octopus his voice. I don't know. That'd be really cool. And that could be a kind of fun little TV show that they could do. But obviously, they won't. That would be too convoluted. Um, but I definitely think that a what-if story is not far from reach. Uh, this guy is a great addition to the Spider-Verse shelf, and when I update my Spider-Verse shelf, in terms of when I move, uh, and finish my room, uh, he will look amazing side-by-side, side, his brethren. Um, hey, brother. Is this guy a pre-order buy two? He's actually a, a walking store and buy him. <laughs> he... He's a lot lower than the higher two, but that's still not bad. That is still meaning that I will buy him. White Rabbit, I'm just gonna 
buy and sell, or I'm just gonna steal the part from my friend. Honestly, I can't describe how much I hate that figure, because I don't even know who it is. And honestly, it's kind of just a bad scope, just bad in general, just this. I just don't like it. And also, fuck. <laughs> Why? Why do we need that? Um, but, yes, it is a great addition to the spider show. It will look nice next to your Spider-Man, because it is a very touch of color, I guess, you could say. It's different. It's not just rain, red and blue. It's green. So, yeah, that's all I really got to say. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Rodimus2099. I'll see you in the next video, where I review something else.